conveyance. For those who don't know what this word means, it means the action or process of transporting someone from one place to another. It's a big part of video games. No matter what the game's type, if it's story driven, if it's a roguelike, hell, if it's a mobile casual game, a big part of games is progression and making progress in some sort of way. Whether it be defeating a level or hitting a set piece within a story driven game, it's one of the most important tools in game design. Because if you can't do it correctly, a player will feel lost, frustrated, and may not want to play your game anymore. There are a bunch of ways to do it, however, no matter what the situation in your game is, you need it, even if it's in a simple form. And what I want to do is highlight the various forms of them, and in particular, call out a couple that do it rather poorly. If you watch my channel, you probably already know a game that I'm going to highlight. Sonic Boom is a prime example of not knowing what conveyance is, and in particular, something that's strongly overlooked in terms of conveyance, consistency. So like the definition says, the game needs to transport you from one portion to the next. In terms of the context of Sonic Boom, it's to transfer you from one mission to the next, and that's something that Sonic Boom immediately fails to do. After your first story set, you are asked to find Cliff to move the story along. And that's what Sonic Boom fails to do, transporting you to Cliff. Let's start off with the setup. You are given little information about who Cliff is. It's implied he's a person, but you have no idea who he is or what his role is. Maybe if you watched the cartoon, you would know who he is, but for other people, they have no idea. So already you're lost. You start moving around, hoping to find clues about what to do, but you only have one purpose in mind and not a lot of information to work with. You're basically lost and you really get frustrated at going, hey, where am I supposed to go? What am I supposed to do? Well, let's talk about what what the game could have done to fix this. Let's start with the least obvious ones. You can put signs in the environment in front of you to indicate where to go. It may indicate a direction to go or where to start your search. Several games do this, even in games that have overall objective markers or maps that you can pull out. If you're trying to find a person, you're most likely to go places where people are going to be. Putting a sign that indicates camp or city going that way may indicate somewhere to go. It makes the player make the connection with the sign and drive him to move towards that location, hoping to find Cliff. They have a destination in mind. Conveyance may take styles that gamers may not identify with, despite it still being a version of conveyance. Take for example Morrowind. Unlike in Oblivion and Skyrim, there is no objective marker. You get hints to where you need to go and what you need to do to get to that location. However, it's not necessarily clear and you may go in the wrong direction. It's gotten you to move, but maybe not in the way you wanted. Now, does Morrowind give you more clues to figure out which way to go than Sonic Boom? Hell yes, it does. However, it won't sit well with all players. Some players won't have the tolerance to sit there and try to figure it out, and they will feel lost and will probably abandon the game. It's probably why a game like Morrowind has the audience that it does, and why a game like Skyrim did a lot in terms of reaching a wider audience. Now, other methods may not work in certain cases, but I want to show them off to show other ways of doing it. Let's take a game that has a different objective. Let's look at Don't Starve. The objective in this game is simple, survive. Now, you may be looking at the video here and thinking, well, wait, it's not telling you where to go to do that. So this game has a poor conveyance, right? No, quite the opposite, in fact. It's a game with great conveyance, and it's done through one system, your set of health meters. Yeah, that's right, your health meters are your directions. You see, your goal drives you to move. You know that you have to survive. You notice that your health and hunger decreases over time and you need to eat. You also find out that if night comes, you need to build a fire to protect yourself. So what does the player do with that information? Well, he goes exploring and looking for the tools to help survive. He knows what he needs to find and what he needs to survive. And the game, without directly telling you, has gotten you to move along its world naturally. And that's strong conveyance. You've made the player transport from one place to another with a set goal in mind, even if the player doesn't know exactly how it will end. You also have the map. And there's one thing in particular that helps you out, the dark sections. As you move, you reveal more of the map. These sections not explored are kept in the dark, which, if you're looking for resources, naturally makes you want to go there. The exploration and the need to survive keeps you going towards those sections, and that's what makes it work. Don't Starve is a great example of conveyance. It's not the typical conveyance that you may be accustomed to. However, that's only one way of doing it. Sonic Boom doesn't do that. However, it does attempt to rectify the problem with conveyance later on in the game, about a third into the game. The player struggles in the first few missions to figure out where to go, as evidenced by several playthroughs that you can see on YouTube. Go watch the Game Grumps, for example, and the frustration they have. Hell, watch the videos that I've made and see the my frustration. But about a third into the game, the game introduces an objective marker and a map for you to use. That seems to fix the problem, right? Well, not exactly. It's another way of doing it, however, there's still major problems with this implementation. Let's take a look at the map here and notice something. I'm trying to get to the objective marker, but notice the map. Is it clear exactly how to get there? The answer is no. The lack of obvious path markers make it difficult to know the exact way to get there. You end up having to use the objective marker in game along with the map in the pause screen to get there. It becomes a struggle going back and forth trying to figure out the way to go without the necessary information to do what you need to do. Take a look at a game like Fallout for example and look at its map. See the difference? I can see things that are blocking my way very quickly and so I know to avoid certain routes or locations that will stop my progress. Details like this on a map are important so it doesn't lead to frustration. Did you also notice something else between the Fallout gameplay and Sonic's? Did you notice the compass? Yeah in the main screen besides the whole objective marker thing there was a reference to which way you were supposed to 
to go. Notice how Sonics doesn't have it, and it causes a problem. You really have to pay attention to what direction you're going and which ways that you've moved, or you'll get confused which way you're going. It'll cause you to go back into the menu time and time again to see where you're pointing and to understand what direction you've gone and up to that point. It leads to frustration and is completely unnecessary with just an indicator on the main screen being able to provide that information. It's one of the many problems of Sonic Boom, but it's a huge one, and it's just scratching the surface of the many stupid decisions and problems with this game. But like I said, it's a major part of gaming now, but like I said, conveyance is a major part of gaming nowadays, and I'll give Sonic Boom this. It shows how important conveyance is by not doing it correctly. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have a chance, leave some feedback and comments below. If you liked the video, hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, hit that subscribe button. This is Dragnix signing off, hoping that gaming brings as much fun to you as it does for me.